fight. We're live now? We're live now. All right. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Summer Jam 12. You're watching the Combat Network, and I am your guest host, Capmop99. With me is... James MK. Yes, I know that guy. And we are so happy to bring you tons of Mortal Kombat content. Guys, there's a lot of Ultimate uh, Mortal Kombat 3 fan-created hacks here, Mortal Kombat 2 hacks, Mortal Kombat 9 hacks, so much cool stuff that we're going to show you this weekend. Today, we're going to focus on an Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 hack called Ultimate MK3 Plus by Drusus. So that's going to be exciting. Do we know what kind of changes are made in it? Oh yeah, man, so many exciting changes. We've got uh, new characters, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, Human Smoke is in there, Noob Saibot is in there. They're playable right there from the select screen. There's rumors that you can access Rain. I don't think he's got any special moves yet, but it's a work in progress. Oh, wow. Uh, there's new backgrounds, too. Wh what kind of backgrounds? Well, uh, you know Noob Storpin? Okay. Normally, you can only access that when you do the code to fight Noob Saibot. Yeah. That's in there. Wow. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, you know that portal background, that uh, that orange one that they use for like the intros and stuff like that in the yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. You can fight in that now. You can, oh, you can fight in that now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, man, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So we got uh, got some cool matches going to happen here. We can what, look uh, over there and see who's what, playing. What kind of players we got in these matches, though? Are these, these some really old school guys or new well, blood? you know, we've got, look, look who's here. We've got, uh, we've got Conquer. We've got, we've got Shock running the stream tonight. We've got all kinds of people coming in from all over the country. The game's creator, Drusus, is here with us now. Um, I flew in from Florida to be here. You came here. What are the kinds of people we have here? We got McLovin, I see McLovin over here from the Ohio area. Yep. Uh, you got, you got Money from, from the Philly area. Um, obviously, like you said, you got Shock holding down the stream. Yep. Uh, I don't know, is Shock actually playing in this? Gonna get bodied? Really? He's got one of the coolest reptiles I've ever seen in this game. Um, one of the few people that I could actually say make reptile look good. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's a beast no matter who he's playing. I've seen the combos. I've been a big fan of his combo videos for over a decade now. Uh, this guy's unbelievable no matter which character he picks. I mean, I. I I choose the red characters. Um, Sector and Kano have always been my mains in this. Yeah. Um, you know, I've always, I mean, I, I, I'm always the first to admit, when it comes to you, MK3, I got body. I yeah, never, Mortal Kombat 2 is more your jam, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, MK2, oh, you learned that today. <laughs> All right, so let's see who these guys are picking. Smoke, smoke. Cool. Both smoke, okay. No combat points. It's kind of hard to see this one glitch. It's the same exact palette almost. They got that, they got that, that, that carrot jab thing down from the side. What's going on with the wind spin? One guy's got 15 wins, one guy's got 4 wins. How's that possible? I don't know much about the better of this game. <laughs> like I said, for me, I, after MK2, I kind of fell out a little bit. And it, it just never really grabbed me. But I think it's a, a fun game. I enjoy playing it. But competitively, these guys will blow me up. I think the fans are split on which one's their favorite. Mortal Kombat 2 or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. They're both neck and neck. Gotta be MK2 for me. I'm with you, 100%. Here we go, stage fatality. Smoke wins. Fatality. You know who won? Not McLovin. All right. It was, it was true. Well, in that case, 
place I have to kind of root for the Druthis. Don't I have to go with Drew? Yeah, we go for Drew. But Cabal is no slouch in Even though he's been nerfed for Mortal Kombat 3, he's still a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. And anyone who mains Cabal, they really know how to use him. it for us. Victory. How much damage did he do? Who knows? <laughs> well. Okay, same characters. It's a rematch. That only gets you so far. I don't know, you know. A lot of the good players can beat Ed Boone. I think you're one of those guys, huh? Uh, everybody, yeah. Everybody beats Ed. Well, that's what I'm saying. Being the programmer doesn't mean you're the best player. This is one of those guys who can do both. If you took an interest in the game to, 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 to modify it, I thought you played it. Yeah, that's a good point. over there to see if they're going to swap out any players. Yeah. Looks like everyone's stay, staying in the same seats here. Old, old, old school rules. Stay until somebody says, can I 
I get in there? Round one. It's not the old school rules. This is what we were talking about earlier in the stream. <laughs> There's any coming back from the club right now. I think the Drusus is going to have this pretty much forever. Yeah. As long as these two stay, uh, stay with these two characters, that's pretty much it. I think every match is going to go down just like this. Uh, such an odd uh, I may have spoken too soon. It's going to happen. Wins. There we go. Got the underdog in this fight. <laughs> you know another fun detail? You see how the portal is animated. This portal wasn't animated in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. The hidden portal from vanilla Mortal Kombat 3 was. So he took that animation and brought it over into this one. Kind of merged both Mortal Kombat 3 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 to make that. Wow. The attention to detail that he put into this hack is really something. Oh yeah, you, you could tell. You could definitely tell he put a lot of fun. Fight. I see what you're thinking there. The background is Noob's door fan. Well done. How do you recover from a 62%? What else can you do? I mean, I pretty much think that if Nick Lovins picks Ermac, the Druses has to pick Smoke. We're having a discussion over there. Another victory. Oh, someone's joining me. Is someone joining me? Greetings. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Joining you on commentary is UMK Shock, replacing James MK, basically one old guy for a not quite as old guy. We're all old guys here. <laughs> I think 
it's a matter of pride. I think he needs to pull off a victory like that, a few more victories like that, before he feels he's justified in switching to another character. Let's see if he can pull off a round two victory. Such a powerhouse with that human smoke. It's not too many players who can fight either of these guys. These are both tournament level players right now. The majority of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 players would not do very well against the Druzes playing as humans, I'm sorry, playing as Ermac or as McLovin's. <laughs> Right. I don't know. Uh, I don't know uh, how many wins the guys are going up to right now, but uh, yeah. What kind of rules are we playing by here? Uh, basically, it's just whoever's available to play right now because there, there are a handful of players around. Uh, we got a couple casual setups going, um, but uh, I will. Uh, I will jump on for a few minutes. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's quarter after seven now. So all right. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, well, we just switched it up a little bit now. Yeah, he likes Striker. Yeah, Druzis is sticking with Smoke. McLovin's oh, yeah. is picking Striker. Druzis, he wants to win matches. He wants to, he knows the stream is on. He's but a flawless. He's on. Well, he picked Striker, so. But the thing is, Striker gets one hit on Smoke, and it's game over. So. Well, we'll see if he can make that happen. I kind of think it depends on what move, though, you use to get that hit. You really need to, with well, your striker, you need to use that gun move. Well, you need to use the gun as an anti-air from a distance, but um, really what he wants to do is just get that one knee lift, sneak it in there, pop him up, bring him to the corner, infinite, and it's uh, a smoke out. Nice conversion there. Doing one. <laughs> One of my finishes, basically, there. So let me ask you this, because you know a little bit about this hack, right? A little bit about the hack? Yeah. Yes. Does uh, Human Smoke have a fatality in this one? Uh, I think he still just has the uppercut. I don't remember if he put in his uh, his other uh, trilogy yeah, that'd be fatality, cool. which I'm sure he will at some point, or, or, or some, you know, some, some incarnation of it. It's a work in progress, so he's got plenty of time. He can add many different things. Uh, sure, absolutely. If he wants to add more fatalities, uh, he's, uh, you know, as long as he can figure out how to do it. Oh, I thought there McLovin's had it there for a minute. There he goes. Okay. Oh, a naked spit attempt there. Not what he wanted. And he drops the combo. Oh, another naked spit attempt. Yeah, Big he's done. There we go. The Druzus with the victory as Nightwolf. Very nice bread and butter from Nightwolf. Cabal's a little bit risky to, to, to get a, a third axe on, uh, but uh, but he managed to pull it off there. Now he's not, he doesn't seem to be going for any cross up axe uppercuts on those jumps. But uh, a couple of quick reads there on those hit and high kicks, and that'll do it. Oh, the Druzus is really doing great tonight, isn't he? Yes, he is. And if there's anybody watching right now, uh, just uh, give me an idea of what the stream looks like, because I don't have any way to check it at the moment. Um, my phone is currently uh, I can check it. I'm going to look at my phone right now. Um, and we're on 4G right now because uh, we're not an advertised stream, but I did get permission to uh, run this tonight. Um, and it was, uh, it was quite a bit of effort, actually, to get a... Uh, to get this underway. I've been going since 10 a.m. and literally at 7 p.m. That was the earliest point that I could have hit go for the stream because uh, of uh, the nonsense that we had to go through. My regular capture card decided it didn't want to work today. Fortunately, I had a, another one with me. So if the stream looks a little bit crummy, it's probably because of that old card. No, and I really think 4G. it looks great. You want to hop on commentary? We got AC1984 in the house here. You want to say hello? Chuck, uh, if you wanted to see what the stream looks yeah, like, let me use my phone. I 
think the stream looks great right now, to tell you the truth. It, it, all things considered, it doesn't look terrible. So. Well, your graphics card, the, the, the one that you had to switch to, the capture card yeah. that, you, that you had in backup, I think that's very forward thinking to bring an extra backup with you. I, I wouldn't have thought to do that. Yeah, I, I have other cards too, but this one just happened to be the previous card that was in this machine. So I just moved it to another slot when I put this one in, just in case. Uh, don't know what the problem is with the other one yet, but we're going to have to take a look, or I'm going to have to order a new one very soon. Well, this one required a little bit of configuration. It didn't just work so well right out of the box, did it? No, no, no definitely not. Had to set it up, but I think you've got the game looking great now. You've got the settings, uh, very high quality, yeah. good frame rate, good colors, all the things that you had to adjust manually because they didn't look so well starting yeah. out. I think we got a great stream. I hope the audience out there is very pleased with this. Yeah, normally, I would like to get this as close to uh, 60 frames a second as possible, even though the game isn't animated at 60 frames. The, the movement of the characters is at 60 frames, so or, or 50, 50 something frames per second. But um, so right now we're just running at uh, lower res, but uh, I'm recording at a higher quality, and I'll upload those fresh uh, during the week. So, uh, well, I like to comment too, not just on the matches, but on some of the some of the changes made through this particular hack. Yes. Uh, in this background, the oh, balcony. Yeah, we should point that out. There's not normally uh, a s an animated clouds that go in front of the moon. That was actually borrowed from the graveyard the stage graveyard, yes. and brought over here. And uh, he also added the bell in the back. There it is. Nice. <laughs> Yes, yeah, a very nice touch there. Uh, for some reason, they left out some graphics here and there that were still in the ROMs. They just decided not to use them. Right. Cut cutting room floor stuff, they call it. Right. Um, so, uh, and some of that stuff they ended up bringing into Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Yes. Yes, they did. Um, they, um, yeah, they, they would leave things out when they, they would have to make uh, decisions on what to keep. Hey, look who's here joining us. Thank you, Megan. Um, What'd you get me? And... Um, depending on how much space that they had to work with at the time, um, budgets and everything like that, you know, you, you gotta make decisions. But some of the stuff is still there and it's immediately accessible if you know how to manipulate the game. So I've got a question for you. Yes. Uh, one of the stages in Mortal Kombat 3 that I was a big fan of, in fact, that I think a lot of people were fans of, is the bank. Yes. They had to remove it from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 due to memory constraints, as far as I understand. That's, that's Have they found a way to we, bring yeah. that in here? I haven't seen the bank yet today. Uh, I don't I don't think he added it to this yet, but it is in another hack that has a few stages from Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 2 also added to UMK3 uh, because it's been discovered how to import graphics into these games. So that's so one of the hacks that's going to be on display this weekend, isn't yes, it? Yes, that should be, I mean, maybe tomorrow um, if we don't get to it tonight because we, we got to... You know, we had a lot to work with uh, getting just getting the stream running today. So um, we will definitely bring uh, probably around nine o'clock. I'll say we'll, we'll we'll start a tournament. There's around ten players here, which is, we didn't really intend on getting more than a handful of players. But once it starts that snowball effect, that people start to hear about, you know, oh, there's going to be classic Mortal Kombat at a at a we tournament didn't, we again. We didn't really yeah. announce any of this. I didn't. I didn't really promote it because much it was. On the DL. Yeah, I, I also wasn't sure exactly what I was doing at this event. Right. So, but it turned out that, that the, the plan went forward, so. Well, I just found out about this myself less than a week ago. Yeah, I found yeah. out from James Fink. Yes. Uh, <laughs> who joined us in the beginning of the stream. He made announcement in the Mortal Kombat Online Twitch stream from Saturday, announcing that this would be a thing. And I wasn't sure if I could go or not, but I made a spur of the decision, uh, spur of the moment decision, pardon me, to yes. come up. And I'm really glad I did. It was nice to finally meet you. Absolutely. And to I meet Conquer and meet so many of the fans here. We had AC 1984 earlier. And we've known each other, I mean, through the internet now, uh, over 15 years. Yeah. Easily. Going so, back, going yeah. back a long time. Very long time. Um, you know, it's, a, it's sort of like the, the inspirational trade-off. Um, you know, just uh, just getting the community together and... See that camera? You're on stream? Well, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get back to narrating the match. Go for it. Uh, looks like the Druzus is falling behind, well. right? Yeah, it's been about... Pretty bad crush. It, it, I mean, there's obviously, it's about a three-to-one ratio right now. Um, but um, I know that, that Drew, Drew's has not really been... I should say, sorry, McLovin's has not really been playing much lately. Um, I, I, to be honest, most of us haven't been. It's just that we all just wanted to get together 
and yeah. have you know have a you know a weekend for class Mortal Kombat. I guess sort of like in in the wake of the the lack of a new Mortal Kombat coming out next year, you know, we need something to fill the void. Maybe we can start pushing this along a little bit because we're gonna inevitably see a decline in, in justice numbers. So, absolutely. Um, it's always been the mainstay of tournaments for years. We've been, we've been running over 15 years now with Classic Mortal Kombat. It's at every event. It's, it's never really advertised, but it's always there. Yeah, and this is kind of a side tournament thing. It's yes. very open. People can just walk right up, whether they have a spectator wristband or yep. whether they have no wristband. Not really, but we're going to start. Um, So yeah, if you're in the chat and uh, you know, you have any questions, send it out there. Let us know. But we're having a great time. A bunch of old guys playing Mortal Kombat. Yeah, well this is a really fun thing that you got going on. You yeah. know, I've done a lot of events. I've come out to things like E3 and Combat Con and yeah, you back in the Midway oh. Gamers Day. What happened? Yes. Oh, uh, we're gonna go to uh, a different uh, player, I think. So we don't really have the controllers all set up all at once like we normally do. We'll configure them, no problem. Yeah. I was just gonna say that I don't really have an opportunity to come out to too many things like this, and I'm really glad that you invited me out to this one. This is a uh, this is a fun fantastic. break. Fantastic. I was I was a surprise to me when you when you messaged me. You're like, oh, guess what? I'm here. I was just like, what? <laughs> well, I didn't want to tell anybody. That would spoil the surprise. You know, the last the last uh, person that I would expect to show up is somebody who's never talked to me about the, the specifically coming out to a tournament before. So it's a you know it's it's great to have a new you know a new face coming out. I wish like somebody like Storms, like you know, if he he yeah. used to come out to the tournaments and, and yep. just do photography and, and mm -hmm. coordinate, you know. Um, but I haven't really seen him around lately. And when he shows up, it's like special, you know. Like he's there, and it's just like everybody's like, oh, like you know, this is the guy who's like got you know the the competitive, you know, uh, the, the the forum for all the competitive tournaments going on and worldwide test stuff. Your you know, test your might. Test your might. You know, but when you got a legend. A legend on the camera right well, now. Well, I don't know about so you that. Can, you <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Yeah, legend. All right, let's legend go back to the game. So what do we got? Nothing going on yet? Okay. So I'm going to go uh, check what's up, and uh, we're going to take a break for a moment. So we'll be back. Okay. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 